When it came to Jesus, I was extremely skeptical of the Gospel of John, for example, because John's Gospel, according to critical scholars now, not according to Christians, but according to critical scholars, John's Gospel is written between 60 and maybe at the latest 70 years after Jesus' death. And so I was critical of John's Gospel. The first time anyone wrote anything about Muhammad's life was 150 years after his death. What did you learn about the Bible as you began to do your own study? Okay, so as a Muslim, I had believed that the Bible was corrupt, that you can't trust it, uh, it had been changed over time. Uh, and as I started discussing these matters with David, I realized there's a lot of things here. There's, there's the issue of textual integrity. Has the Bible remained the same since it was written? And the answer is we have so many manuscripts that, yes, we, we, it, it hasn't changed. Um, can we trust what was originally said? There's good reason to think that the disciples uh, and, and secretaries of the disciples wrote down the books of the New Testament. You have to understand, everyone around me was saying the Bible's been changed, the Bible's been yeah. corrupted. And when I'm investigating it for myself, I'm thinking, where are they getting this from? Why, yeah. why are they coming away with these conclusions? And so that begins to open my mind to think, maybe there's other things that I didn't quite understand. Sure. And as if Jesus needed to make his point any clearer, he then says, you will see him sitting at the right hand of the power. That son of man will be sitting at the right hand of the power. Well, what is this? This is a reference to Psalm 110, verse 1. In Psalm 110, verse 1, it says, The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand, and I will make the enemies a footstool for your feet. No one in all of Second Temple Jewish history ever claimed the right to sit next to God on his throne. Because if you were to say that, then essentially what you're saying is that God has an heir. It's like the king sitting on his throne with his son, the prince, next to him. That's what it means to sit next to God in that context. Yet Jesus claims not only to be the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven, whose worship with the service due only to God, but also has the right to sit next to God on the throne. He's the heir to the throne of God.